G'day guys, Scotty here from The Hook and The Cook and welcome back to our channel. Well, we're heading offshore today, I'm taking my two boys out. We're going to go and have a shot for some bonito. There's been quite a few along the coast, so hopefully I can pick the boys up from the wharf shortly and get out there amongst a few. Uh, we're just going to head south from the Port Hacking, down along towards Marley Point. We'll do a little bit of trolling to start the day once we find the schools of Bonito. We're going to swap over and run bumper bar lures on the lighter rods and see if we can pick them up spinning. Should be a lot of fun. So let's see how we go. Just got the boys down the back, they're just about to set the lures. And, um, and then we'll start our trolling run down along the coast. We're just off the headlands at the moment. There's a bit of a strong nor'easter blowing this afternoon. So it's a little bit blowy, a little bit lumpy and bumpy out here, but uh, the water looks really nice and I, I think we're a good chance of, of getting a few fish. So we're just doing our trolling run at the moment along the coast, just to see if we can find a school of Bonito. We're also a chance of picking up a few rat kings and uh, tailor in close to the wash using this method. Wind it nice and fast, Bryce. I think we've got our first hook up. Yep. Nice. So Blake's hooked up first. Bryce got a whack as well. Okay, um, you can see on the sounder, on my Lawrence there, a nice school of fish sitting fairly high, and I'm thinking they're probably Bonito, so let's see if the boys can get a hook up. Okay, Blake's into his second fish. Crank it in nice and fast, Brycey. Keep that lure moving, mate. A good chance for a hookup. Just take your time on him, Blake. Bring your rod tip round to me. That's it. Not you. Your rod tip. Something that's always special here when you're off the coast. Big school of dolphins going past at the moment.
Well guys, yesterday afternoon's fishing session was a little tough with the boys. Uh, our plans were to chase Benito on the light tackle once we found them trolling, but uh, conditions out the front were pretty hard to spin with the bumper bar lures. So the trolling produced, we got a couple of nice Benito and I think a smaller one will let go. So what I thought I'd do today is show you how to fillet the Benito and a lovely way to cook Benito. It's one of my favourite and uh, very simple and easy to do. And so when the boys come home from work this afternoon, that I can have some uh, beautifully cooked bonito for dinner. Okay, to prepare our bonito, the first thing we're going to do is uh, take the fillets off. So they're very easy to fillet. We just come under that fin there, run the knife forward, and then just turn, just to you fill the backbone, and then just simply follow along the spine, all the way through. And there you have one beautiful fillet. So I'll just put that aside, flip him over, do exactly the same to the other side. A very easy fish to fillet and lovely clean fillets because I bled these yesterday. So I'm going to keep that for crab bait. That'll work really well later on. Under there, down through there, same procedure, drop it down to the knife, hits the backbone, and then just carefully run your knife hard against the backbone and all the way through. And a good sharp filleting knife is always a must when you're doing this sort of stuff. Look at those beautiful clean fillets. Flip him over, do exactly the same again. Filling's very easy, just take your time. And having a sharp knife, like I said, makes the job really easy. You can see that knife is just sliding straight through the, the fish. Okay, and you see there's no blood in there because we bled the fish. If you didn't bleed the fish, you'd have a lot of blood through the fillet. So they're nice clean fillets and, uh, and ready to cook. Okay, the next step's pretty simple. Just gonna, uh, I've got a tray there lined with foil. I'm just gonna lay my, my fillets on there. Try and fit the, the four on, like that. So we've got my beautiful fillets. A little bit of uh, olive oil, extra virgin olive oil from the guys at Torino. So we're just gonna rub a little bit on each fillet. Don't do much. Just use your fingers and just smear it over them. It just helps the cooking process. And uh, this virgin oil from Torino is a beautiful flavour as well. Here we go. And then what I've got is I've got some lime pepper from Kiro Crush. I'm going to do two in the, uh, the lime pepper. Just a little bit on, the, on each fillet. And then I've got some uh, barbecue, which is like a steak spice and I find that's really nice on the fillets as well. Okay, into the grill. Set it on about 180 degrees, like I said, for about 15 minutes, just so they start to bubble and crisp up on top. They should be perfect. Well, how good does that look, guys? And I'll tell you what, when my boys get home from work today, they will love this fresh bonito. Now guys, tune in next week to another fantastic clip on The Hook and the Cook. Please subscribe to our channel. You can follow us on Facebook, Twitter and Instagram. And we'll see you guys on the water next week somewhere. Cheers. I'd like to give a big thank you to all our sponsors for 2019.